So here's all the parts for a recycler. If you watched videos one and two, you would have seen how I made these four. If you want to see how I make the joint, watch my joint making videos. In this video, we'll be attaching the uptake arm and the mouthpiece. So we're going to be attaching the uptake arm. And for this, you're going to need a little piece of 9.5 and something to bridge with, a plug, and some tweezers. Um, we're going to be doing a Jesus seal with this one. So if you haven't done a Jesus seal before, you might want to check out my video on how to do a Jesus seal. First, we're just going to quickly prep this uh, 9.5 piece of tubing. Now put your plug in the end of that tube. Bring the recycler out of the kiln. We're gonna dust off any kiln dust that might have been on there. Connect the blow tube. We're just gonna heat both these. Give it a stick, a little puff and pull. And then we're gonna line it up where we want. We want about three eighths of an inch in between the rim of this funnel can and the uptake arm. That's good. I'm gonna leave about an inch extra, more than we need, maybe a little more. I'm gonna rip off the rest. Now we're gonna take a little rod and bridge off the same spot that we bridged this other bridge from. This is kind of time sensitive like the other thing because we have a unstable seal down here. That's basically a seal that's not really fully melted in. Like how that glass up there is not melted in. That's not really stable. The glass doesn't like that. And if uh, you let it cool down too much it can crack and it will almost always crack if it's cool and you bring the heat back to it. So I'm going to work this one out like we've done the other seals. A little teeny bit of heat. little puff of air, moving it around, always thinking about how the gravity is affecting the piece. Now I'm going to do the Jesus seal. I'm going to blow out two little pimples basically. I'm going to get them right before they meet, and now I'm going to heat both of them at the same time and get them to touch. Not quite. Now I'm going to work the bottom. get to stretch out. And as I blow both these out and treat them like a tube, it's stretching out that membrane in between the two. And 
from there it just broke. Now this is such a small connection I'm giving the slightest amount of air pressure in it to hold the wall where I want it while I'm melting it in. Since it's such a thin wall, you can work in glass from this side and the other side by heating some of that glass up and letting it flow in using air pressure to hold the wall where I want it. Now that that's pretty stable, I'm going to take off this bridge and the excess glass. Now I can flow this extra glass into this uh, seal, or this connection. And again, I'm using air pressure to hold the wall where I want it to be. Basically, I kind of got that line to meet up with the top. Now I'm going to get this wall to like smooth out this way. This is the same as any sort of seal, just take your time and heat up enough glass so the thing can all like flow together and use a lot of gravity. This is definitely part of what helps you get a nice uh, whirlpool drain is having a nice flow of the water shooting into the side like this. There, I like that. That's fairly clean. So now we can get rid of this bridge. Now I'm just going to remove this excess stuff on the top completely. Because the next step is putting on the mouthpiece, so I'm going to get ready for that. And this one, since you've been working in this area, it should be plenty hot. So you should have no problem getting this next step done as well. Now I'm going to put it back in the kiln and let it heat up for the next step. Now we're going to attach our mouthpiece. For this we're going to want some tweezers, a plug, something to bridge with. So we're going to plug up the mouthpiece, brush off any kiln dust, and I'm going to blow hose up to the, to the rig. When you go to make your connection, I like to kind of do this kind of move right here, where I just roll it in. That way that outer wall is attaching first and we're coming in to make sure we kind of see it all connect at once. It's a subtle move, but it really can help make sure that your whole connection actually happened the way you wanted. Now we're going to get it, the mouthpiece set how we want. Make sure to look at it from all angles as you're doing that. It can often look straight from one side and be totally crooked from another. Up.
like I was saying before, I like to melt in the easiest part first and work my way towards the harder part. So the front's kind of all, there's a lot of glass there on this one. So I'm going to melt in the back and the two sides first. And then maybe by the time I get to the front, I won't have as much work to do. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm going to let it just uh, cool down a little bit, and then I'm going to remove the bridge. Now I'm going to put it back in the kiln and let it warm up for the next step. 